We are installing our Energuide la uh, label for the Net Zero home. It's the first uh, Net Zero Zero Gigajoule uh, label that we have received. So we are excited to be installing it on our electrical panel. So it's a big moment. It's a big moment. Woohoo! Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. It, it's telling us that uh, the amount of, it's a net zero home in essence, that it's utilizing zero gigajoule on an annualized basis uh, for its energy demand, for electricity demand that it has got. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. The Energuide sticker makes it official. This new Pisa landmark home is net zero. But producing net zero homes is not new for landmark homes. This is their 25th net zero home in the Edmonton market. What makes this home special is that at $399,737, this is the lowest priced single family net zero home that we've seen in Canada. And that's a game changer. I think that it's, we are going to be seeing uh, uh, sharp increase in demand of these homes because not only they are uh, affordable, they are built complete to a, to a, to a better standard, uh, more stringent standard, and they are going to be performing uh, much, much better operations and maintenance costs are going to be lower and, and on and on and on it goes. This net zero home is 1,230 square feet. It uses 60% less energy than a regular home. It's comfortable, very quiet, and the best part is when you buy the home, your energy bills are essentially paid for for the life of the home in advance. Why don't we take a tour of this super energy efficient home? We don't have gas coming to this home. This is an electrically powered home that is run off, of course, with the solar panels on the roof. And all of the utilities, everything is run off electricity. So the hot water heater is an electric hot water heater. We have the home heating system, which is the air source heat pump, is electric. Of course, our backup electric furnace is electric. Um, the heat recovery ventilator uh, is, of course, powered off electricity. And then your typical things like lights and your cooktop um, are all electric. So you get to eliminate the distribution fees from the gas by just having one utility bill. First and foremost, net zero homes take energy efficiency very seriously. Insulation is a key component for any net zero home. We have an R80 attic insulation. We have an R27 above grade exterior wall and that includes um, exterior rigid insulation that uh, minimizes thermal bridging. In the basement we have R36 which is a fiberglass and mineral wool combination. And then underneath the basement floor, we have two inches of XPS, which is an R8. We've chosen to use triple pane windows, so three panes of glass. In between each pane, you fill the space with an argon gas. Uh, it's heavier than air, minimizing the convection loops within your windows. And then the last step is you put low E coating on those windows to keep the energy that you've brought into your home, um, you want it to stay there. Saving energy or heat recovery is another very cool secret of this net zero home. The heat recovery ventilator, or HRV, recovers 75% of the heat as air is exhausted from the home. Just to the left of the HRV, we have another recovery system, a drain water heat recovery. So as you're showering and that hot water goes down the drain, it's literally, you're sending money down the drain. What this does is, um, through the excellent conductivity of copper, you're recovering that heat and preheating the water that goes to your tank, and you're able to recover about 15 degrees Celsius of temperature. It's really quite awesome. This is our backup furnace, our furnace the size of a suitcase, really, on those really cold winter days that we have here in Edmonton. This unit will kick in and it's working in tandem and in cooperation with the air to air heat pump, the air source heat pump that we use. They talk to each other. The air source peep, heat pump says it's working really hard and it's cold outside. Give me a hand. And this guy will kick in and say, I've got you covered. And the home is warm and cozy all the time. And here's the really cool part. The air source heat pump furnace also works in reverse to provide air conditioning in the summer. And of course, this is a very similar technology to the home heating system. This is an air source heat pump hot water tank. 
So this beautiful black part on top is the unit that takes the ambient air from your basement and transfers it to the water to actually heat the water. And it works in hybrid mode, um, so it has an electric resistance coil as well and the two work in tandem to make sure you get the water when you need it, the hot water when you need it. Not only does this home require 60% less energy than a regular home, it produces all of its own energy right on the roof of the home. So with any net zero energy home, of course, you're going to have a renewable energy component. We've equipped this house with over 30 305 watt solar panels, which is about a 10 kilowatt PV array, solar PV array. And that will provide as much energy as the house needs over the course of the year, and that is for everything, heating, cooling, and the electricity demands of the home. Manani says these net zero homes are very comfortable with plenty of fresh air, few allergens, consistent temperatures, and very quiet. I would say that these homes are uh, going to become the new norm uh, for, for the future. Uh, it's the start of the of the wave. Manani says there's also comfort of mind. Who wouldn't want a home that has only one energy bill that shows a credit balance for more than half the year? These affordable net zero homes just might disrupt the housing market. What we're finding is that there's a, a bit of a pent up demand for this type of homes. And, but the most interesting thing is how the technology's evolved. The cost has come down. So it's becoming more attainable for um, the regular home buyer to get into this type of housing. So we're very excited to see the response that people are giving um, and as well as the interest that they're showing. Manani believes affordable net zero homes will appeal to people looking to retire into a home with low operating costs. To millennials, and early adopters who want to have a very cool house. This price point is a real breakthrough for net zero. And with so much uncertainty about ever rising energy costs, climate change and carbon levies, a net zero home slams the door on these concerns by producing clean energy and getting rid of most of your energy bills. Want to learn more? Check out our blog, podcast, and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Vancouver wants all new homes to be zero emissions by 2020. One company has responded to the challenge in Vancouver by building an 85-unit apartment building to Passive House Standard. The idea was so successful, Vancouver rewrote their bylaws.